So, the situation as is, uh, UK has gone into a bit more of a lockdown than we have. Um, I'm out in Switzerland in the Swiss Alps and we can move around a little bit more but you've got to be really vigilant and very careful. So I'm with you guys at home in the UK, I'm feeling for you and thank goodness that we do a sport where we can still get out for a run. Um, that's awesome, even in a time when it's crazy, the, at the moment the fact that we can all still do that is um, it's positive. So in terms of what I'm wearing, I've got just a pair of shorts and a long sleeve top. I'm wearing my uh, Speedcross 5 and I've got my Santo watch, a pair of shades and a buff. I could have worn a vest pack like this, but I decided today it's very short, it's 5k. Of course, if you, if you want to take on 5k, absolutely do, I do advise it. But for me for today, I'm just going to go out just as I am. Of course, do take water if you want to, or of course you can safe glacial streams as well. <laughs> um, I'm gonna head off, let's, uh, let's go. So if you are just starting out and you're thinking, right, I've got a bit of freedom in my day. I wanna get on the trail, but I don't really know how to start. Think about literally just going for a walk and jogging a bit. It doesn't need to be big sprints, hill reps, anything like that. It just needs to be relaxed and you should enjoy yourself. My advice also is try and head somewhere that you know well that is safe. You don't want to be putting pressure or burden on anyone else at this time. So for me, this is a local, really nice trail. It's a matter of moments, it feels, from where I, I live. And it's just really quiet. And I know it's like the back of my hand. There are some places at the moment around where I live where I just wouldn't go. Part of it's because of uh, the changing of the season. It's not quite safe yet. But also if I think it's in any way a little bit risky. It's just not worth putting that burden on anyone else. Okay. About running. It's basically the only sport you can do. So just give it a go. Everyone's in the same boat with it. Uh, don't worry if you literally start by walking and then just picking up the pace even just for a few steps it's progress and at the moment I think we can take every little bit of progress that we can So as you know, the internet is great. <laughs> there are some really good videos for keeping fit and doing strength and yoga and stuff. For years, I've watched Blog Last use a particular video ever since I got into long distance running, which is awesome. And also Boho Beautiful Yoga is something I do a lot. My friend Erin, is a PT who's putting loads of stuff online. So lots to check out and there's lots to do. So don't feel, don't feel trapped. Also, for the record, don't kick yourself if you don't want to go out. <laughs> I don't want to be sounding like, go, 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 if you don't want to. Well, I would suggest, and if you do, there are loads of benefits to be had. But this is a time for no pressure. So, you know, make the most of doing what you want. And if it's a quick walk, if it's a nap, do whatever you want. It's 
also going to say, if there's anything at this time that you want me to cover, um, whether it's to do with kit, advice on general training, uh, the mental side of running, I'm pretty interested in that. Um, yeah, if there's anything that you want me to cover in a video that may be from the confines of my apartment, who knows, um, let me know and uh, I will, I'll do it. <laughs> So that is it for a little 5k outing, 3 to 5k, give it a go and I'll uh, see you in the next video, stay safe.